Hey everyone, it's me, Laura, from The Papered Soul, and welcome back to my channel. All right, well, I've got a lot to do today because I have a lot, of some fun things, just fun old crafting that we're going to do today, and we're going to be using our stamps. And so, I know if you've been keeping up with the, um, keeping up with the series, starting a new journal, um, then you'll know every time I came to this right here, I kept telling you I was gonna figure out something fun to put in this pocket that we made. And this journal is being made with um, the kit Beautiful Birds from Artie Mays. And I'm also adding in some elements from uh, Butterfly Delight and Dragonfly Dreams. So I finally have t I had in my brain what I wanted to do. Um, and I finally had the time to sit down and kind of make it, try to get it out of my brain and onto paper. So um, that is what I wanted to work on today. And today what we're doing is making some really fun um, vintage ephemera with our stamps. Okay, and and some images from from the kit from the beautiful birds kit. Okay, so the first thing I have is a a postcard that I made. I just made a vintage postcard. I have um, Andrea's little uh, postage stamps of her little beautiful birds there. I hope you can see that. And um, I just aged this little uh, index card up basically, and I used a lot of my stamps that I had to kind of create you know, my own little vintage postcard. That's one thing we're gonna do. Then the other one that I created um, is a field label, okay? A, a field notes uh, journal card. And obviously both of these are journal cards that you can journal on in your journal, in the journal I'm creating. And so this was a lot of fun, okay? Um, I, my husband and I have gotten to where, my husband's really gotten big into birding, and um, we love birds, of course, we have bird feeders and everything, but we're also, we, we're actually going out and looking and trying to find birds for our life list, and so I use some examples of some birds that I have seen, um, you know, I'm trying, you write them down on your life list and everything like that. And, you know, if you do these types of things, you could keep like little field notes about when you go out into nature and stuff like that. So I used uh, some wonderful stamps and I'm going to make this one first, I believe, and then we'll make this one second. Um, or maybe I should make this one. I was going to make this one since it's faster. But anyway, the first thing I've got to do is I've got to, I've got plain old little uh, index cards here, and they're just blank. Okay, and so what I'm going to do is I need to age them. And I just put, I went to my coffee pot, and I'd already drank all my coffee the other day, so I made me a little uh, coffee out of some just instant, the little instant crystals and um so i that's all i'm going to use and that's all i did for these so it's amazing how much because these are kind of like flimsy and this makes it a little when you put coffee in it and on it it makes it um, more sturdy and of course it gives it that wonderful vintage look so um that is the back of my little um field note card and i will explain all this when we do stamping and stuff I'll uh, sh step you through. I put a quote on the back. The quote says, "I will write, uh, I will write peace on your wings, and you will fly all over the world." And obviously, this is about our wonderful little birds out there, and n no better time than summer for our birds. But I bet this is the prettiest little field field uh, notes card anyone has ever seen. I've got stenciling and bling and lace and trim, the trim I have in my shop, and then some images from Artie Mays from her beautiful birds. Let's do this one first, but before we do anything, we have to get these aged up. So you can see, you can see the contrast. Isn't that amazing that you can change something to that extent? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and I will uh, just start spraying this down, okay? And saturating these uh, index cards. That's what I do. And um, then I start applying some uh, heat to it. So um, I will be right back. 
Okay, now I have my um, my little cards that are all nice and crinkly and vintage now. They've got that wonderful color to them. That's what the difference looks like. And all I did was spray some instant coffee this time. But you could, of course, do these when you're doing your coffee dye papers and stuff. But this is also something you can do um, if you just don't think about something like that when you're doing your coffee dye and, and everything. And you can just do it tabletop and... Um, you know, just sit and dry it, okay? Um, so that's what I did, and so now we have that. So what we're gonna start with is we're going to start with my little postcard. I just decided that I thought it would be cute to make my own little postcard journal card. And I did wanna utilize um, Artie Mays' little images here, okay? Her little birds there, and just make this look kind of authentic. But I'm also using my stamps. So let's take we're going to take one of these and i'll put this aside i already have my little um pieces inked and everything for when i glue those on and i have my little stamps i've got a variety of stamp sets um that i actually used to create this um this journal uh card this vintage journal card postcard so what i'm going to do is i'm going to start on this side and um, I have a from and to, and I kind of just stamped something that made it look like a, somebody had written their little address out. And then I have that fun little stamp there and that fun stamp there. So we're gonna start there and we're just gonna make this happen. So this was such a cute little, it's fun to get your stamps out to play, okay? So that's, that's what I wanted to do. And um, let me get my, I've got my little thing here for my stamping. There you go. And then I've got my little VersaFine permanent ink. And um, I am just going to stamp this out. So it was a lot of fun just pulling my stamps out and playing with them. Sometimes you, you just don't realize the um, inspiration that you can uh, have. Um, with your stamps. So, you know, pull them out and uh, get to playing. And you might get some great ideas when you start looking through them and, and think, oh my gosh, this would be great for this theme or that theme or what have you. So I got that and then I'm going to be blotting my little stamps off. Okay. Just trying to blot those clean. And um, so that takes care of that one. And then we have this little guy, which looks like little postage stamps, obviously. And so I'm just going to put my little blotter here and I'm going to just do part of it. You know how the mail does your stamping, stamping your mail and everything. And I know back in the vintage days. I don't think I have any anything else on there like that. So there you go with that. So just blending these stamps. Okay, and so while I'm over here in this corner, I'm going to go ahead and um, glue these little images from Artie Mays. I've already cut them and inked them. And so let's see which one's going to look the best and where. So let's see if I put him there. And I kind of did like like that. That's cute. So let's put this one down first. And I have my art glitter glue. So I'm just gonna do that. And you know when people put stamps on an envelope, they're not always straight, and that's what's kind of fun about it. Makes it look even more vintagey. And there we are. With that let me slide that down okay so I got that little corner taken care of how easy was that and then the other element stamped element that I wanted to play with was the one that kind of looks like script with an address and so I just thought that would be a good one so let me put that on and this one's so old it's kind of like losing its stick so I have to put tape on the back of it to help hold it on 
And on this one, I didn't want the address to be like super duper dark and clear. I kind of wanted it a, like faded out like it would be on an old vintage postcard. And so I'm just going to stamp it here one time on my blotter paper. And then I'm going to kind of do here. Just kind of real nice and soft, didn't press too hard, just to kind of get, get a feel of that's in a dress. Then I took my other, just blotting that stamp off, I um, took my other little, let me put this up, keep my stamps in order, and I've got this little block of alphabet so I can do my from and to. So let's do that, and that, you know, takes a little bit longer, but um, these are fun. This is just fun to do crafting, I'm telling you, y'all. So many times, the playing part of it is what's so fun. So I'm going to get these kind of in order. That and that and two. So from is going to be the first one we have. So here's my F. We'll just do one at a time. And I'm going to put this up here. F, R, O, M. And then I'm going to take a, I'll just take a Sharpie and put my little, two little dots here. And that's where the um, person that is sending this vintage card, postcard, will um, write their name there and their address. And then I'm going to do two. So here's the T. And this is right here. So we're just going to do that. And whoop, here. And if you know me, I, I'm not, I don't when it comes to my little stamping my alphabet does not have to be perfect i am absolutely fine with it being kind of shifted a little bit or a little off it does not bother me and that is the beauty of that also with my sewing when i sew if if my sewing gets a little crazy i do not care because to me that is like vintage sewing <laughs> I just call it vintage sewing and it was and it just adds to the charm so that's how I view that so I'm keeping these a little in order but not just because I might want to do more of these later so I'm gonna put that one to the side and now we have this side now if I wanted to add see I have some more little smear marks there I, um, if I want to add a little more uh, shading I can just take my um, distress pad here and then just add some some more shading uh, on the envelope like it got a little more grunged up and of course you can um, go around the edges like we do everything if you want to do that excuse me for knocking the camera and then on this side we have some lines and stuff that's where you would write your little message but in this case, since it's going in my journal, it's going to be able to be used as a journal card, okay? So I thought that would be cute and fun. So here's the back of this, and so let's see what we did. So I have my little, um, other little ephemera piece from Beautiful Birds, Andrea Mays' kit, and um, I also have, um, I'm going to go ahead and just glue that about where I did the other one just to get that on here, okay? So I just thought it would be pretty to have a little bit of decoration on this little journal card, on this little postcard, like most postcards do. So I was just going to put that about right there in the corner so they will get a pretty image. If you were to receive this postcard in the mail, you'd have a pretty image of a bird. The other thing I'm going to do, let me get my little, um, okay, my other little stamps that I have. I have a just a note, so it's teeny tiny, and so let me get that out of my 
of my little kit here. And let me pull that one out, just a note. It's a teeny one. And so I'm going to use my little teeny tiny acrylic block and put that on. Make sure it's straight. And I'm going to put that a little bit above right here. It's about where I will start my my little lines right above this picture here. Okay. There you have that. Blot that one off. And see how fast and fun this is coming together, just playing with your with your stamps. Um, a lot of these stamps, I've, I, mean, I really get to where I'm just waiting for the perfect little thing that I can come across to use them. You know, I really want to use them. and So it's fun when you think of something that you can do. So the other stamp um, that I wanted to do, let's get these... Um, Let's get these lines done. So I have this little stamp set from Paper Tray Ink, and it's got lines, um, like line stamps, which I thought were was fun. And um, it also has notes and notes and date um, stamps on it. And I'm actually going to use that on my other little vintage project that we're working on today my um, little field notes. Okay, so these are just lines is all they are. You can see where my ink was before. And I happen to have a long um, little acrylic block. So I'm going to put this down and put my little acrylic block and put that little one there. I love it when these things are new because when they're new, they are, um, I'm gonna do it like this. Uh, when they're new, they are so nice and sticky. And let me line that up pretty good. Let me make sure that's even. Yeah. There we go. All right, so then I'm just putting these lines on there. And um, what I did do, I used a little posty note where the sticky was um, here, and I was able to cut it off a little bit, you know, just have it cut off reasonable. I know I bumped the camera again. Hard not to do that. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is figure out, I probably will come in and try to just line this up uh, about right. Maybe right there. And I hope I got that even. Okay, so I just did that so that it will, it the lines are gonna stop right here. I might pull it out a little bit further. Let's do that. Just give it a little bit more longer lines than the other one. So I just set that there. And then I'm ready to ink my line bars here. And I'm just gonna be doing this over here. So I'm gonna put this, I'm gonna put this aside and ink this. Make sure they're long enough. And then pull this back in, flip it. And I'm lining it up near the little bird. That kind of gives me an idea of where I want the lines to start. And I did a little bit higher where I have my just a note, just a note, and I'm trying to make sure I'm really straight. And then I just put it down. Okay, so there's my first set of lines. Keep that on there, and I'm gonna do another little set to finish it out. And then 
pull this back into frame here. And what I'm going to do, I can see my last line, and now I'm going to be able to kind of line that up. I probably need to put a blotter here because, let me try this again. Let me get my angle better. Okay, so now I'm standing up so I can see it a little bit better. There we go. And I'm gonna try to come down just a little bit also and keep it even. And again, if it's not perfect, that's okay, y'all. We have enough things in life that we have to try to be perfect at all the time, and I am just not interested um, having to be perfect with my crafting. I just want it to be, I want it to be nice and I do my best, but if it has a little whatever to it, I call it character and move on. I just like to do that. Now there are sometimes it just depends, you know, but for the most part, there's a lot of things we just don't need to get hung up on. Okay, so now I'm going to, um, Set that aside. Set that aside. Okay, and so what do we have next? We have our postcard stamp that needs to be put on there. And then we also have our fun little dragonfly. And um, so let's do the postcard. Well, I could go ahead and do the dragonfly. Let's do the dragonfly. You know what? I'm going to do the postcard only because I've got to center it. So I have a little postcard word here. And then I'm going to put that on my acrylic block. Make sure that's pretty straight. My little dragonfly is already inked. Okay, and then we're going to ink him up. And I'm going to put my blotter page here just in case. And basically all I'm doing for this one is just centering it on my little my little postcard, okay? So yeah, I just want that at the top so everybody knows what it is. Okay? How pretty is that? All right. More blotting. And I'm going to put this up real quick. Okay, and then my last but not least for my little card here that we are making, I am doing my little dragonfly, and I just thought I would have him kind of fly in, and I make sure, I'm going to stand up to make sure that I'm not off my page. I want to make sure my dragonfly is still on my page. There we go. Nice, and I don't care if his little wing is over that line. That does not bother me one little bit, and I hope it doesn't bother you either. <laughs> so, here we are with our first vintage, making our own ephemera, vintage ephemera here, little postcard that we made. And the, the thing that I liked about these is in my journal that I'm presently making, it is a design team project for Artie Mays. I started out using our beautiful birds kit, which are what these images are from. I like having the butterfly on that particular stamp because I'm adding the butterfly delight uh, ephemera and I'm also adding ephemera for the dragonfly dreams. And so this little card has that, uh, the dragonfly, the butterfly, and the little bird um, ephemera from Beautiful Birds. And I just thought this little card represents all of it. And also, it gives you a place to journal in, you know, a journal on this journal card in your journal. Okay, so that's the first one that we've done. So I'm going to put those aside, and then we are going to work on our other one, which I'm super excited about. And uh, let me put these aside. The stamps that I used for that one, I want to put these aside. Kind of get them out of my way. Okay, so now we have our little field, 
our field notes and like I was telling you my fingers are so messy like like I was telling you um, earlier you know I've gotten to where I do some um, some birding with my husband and it's a lot of fun because you're actually by doing that you're actually out there seeing birds that you don't normally see you know or that you maybe you don't even know they're out there and so it's really a lot of fun and you create what you do is you create like a life list <coughs> you have a life list and then you have a year list excuse me you have a life list and you have a year list and um so your year list will i mean your life list is just goes on and on and on of all the birds that you've seen over the course of your life and all the different birds you've seen and then your yearly you try to you know get as many as you can or see as many as you can each year as well so I know this look, might look a little crazy just by looking at it at the first, but it's going to make sense to you when I get done because it has information here about a rare bird. This is an example of a rare bird that we actually saw. And I just kind of, I don't think there's any field notes, <laughs> that, field, um, field notes that look like this, I, but this was... I kind of was basing it off of how they might be laid out where you have certain information that you plug in about that bird. So here's the specimen. Um, what we saw that one day was a very thrush and the date that I saw it was December 11th of last year, 2020. We actually went to Cary, North Carolina. I live in uh, Greensboro, Summerfield uh, area and we actually went to um, Cary, North Carolina to go and see that bird and the reason is because that bird was very rare for this area. I think it's usually out west and we don't get to see that bird over here on the east coast. So that was really neat so I put a little note rare for this area um, and you can see some of my little uh, stampings that I've done. It's a field label. I wanted you to know it was a field notes. Here's a date stamp, my name of remitter. I put the papered soul because that's who I am. That's how y'all know me. Um, and then the V-A-T-H is, is the first two letters in and the first two letters of of the name. So it's a varied thrush, so V-A and then T-H. In the second word so v-a-t-h that is a banding code that they use and they will put on those bands when they band their little legs and everything to try to keep up with these little little birds uh, i have a note stamp down here and some other little fun stamping that i did to decorate this little field note journal card uh, i also made a, another, another little note about this very thrush and i put made a number of showings at the morning feeder of a resident's backyard. Absolutely beautiful. So that was an exciting day. It was fun. And um, I just thought that was that was neat. And, you know, of course I had to add bling and lace, a lace tab, and I had to add one of Artie Mays' little ephemera pieces with a pretty little bird. And I attached that with my little uh, trim. And on the back, uh, and you can probably see, you can see it on the back and I'll show you. I actually sewed the little division here of the little areas that you're gonna put your information, where you plug your information. So I don't know if y'all can see that. Let me stand up and make sure you can see that. Um, yes, I did my little sewing. So like here's the little date section and I just sewed lines around that and then uh, my little destination. I didn't have a location uh, stamp, so I put destination, because that was our destination so that we could go and see that bird. And so, um, so the sewing I did around that was to kind of make a form, like a field note form, so that you can kind of see. So on the back, of course, I got my bling again, and I have a field note label. And I also added a quote, and um, let me, see if I can close that and get that light out. I hope you can still see. Um, yeah, so I also um, added one of my quotes because I love to do that and made a little pocket out of it. And it says, I will write peace on your wings and you will fly all over the world. And that is a quote by, it looks like Sadako Sasaki. Sasaki, excuse me. And then I added more of the cute ephemera in that little pocket. Um, of Artie Mazes, and I also sewed around those little cute images, and then you can open that up and have like cute little journal spots. Same thing with this one, okay, and open that up. 
and inked it all up and everything like that. So those just tuck in my little pocket, you, and I, I just love that. Uh, also, I did some stenciling, okay? So we'll be doing that. And I, I did put a little grommet in there to tie that on to that pretty little, little bird there. I did sew around that one as well. Um, and yeah, some stenciling. So let's get busy and make this one because this one is a lot of fun as well. Okay, so let me tuck these away and I will put this off to the side. So I've got my fresh piece here of, of coffee dyed index card and I'm gonna use this as my little uh, to look at just to see what I did. This is a cute little um, stamp kit from Tim Holtz, um, Stampers Anonymous, and it is called Field Notes. And when I saw it, knowing how I feel about birds, I just knew I had to get it. And it's got some of the cutest little labels and uh, tags and numbers and uh, just anything you would think that you might would find like on field notes where they would stamp things and document things and such like that. So what I did is I pulled out some little stamps that I wanted to play with in his little kit. All of them look fun. Um, and so I managed to get 9, 10, 11. I think I managed to get 11 total stamps on this little card to create this little field note. Um, and so I just thought that was really cute. Before I do that, what I am gonna do is I'm going to, um, I'm gonna start with this little stamp here, okay? And that is at the very center. And from that center is where I just drew some light pencil lines and then blocked me out my little um, categories for the date, for the name of the remitter, for the destination, for my extra notes, for the specimen that I was talking about. So what I'm gonna do, um, I'm gonna go ahead and get this stamped in the top center, and then I will draw my lines out and have them sewn up, and I will come right back uh, once I have done that. So just so you know what I'm doing, I'll be right back. Okay. I have gone in and sewn all my little sections, okay? So I basically sewed a, I sewed a, a field label form is what I was trying to do. There's like a little string right here. So let me snip that. Okay, but so basically that's what I was trying to do is make a little form, sew a little form. Uh, where I could plug in all my important information when I see a fun little bird out there, get a life bird or whatever, or my yearly, you know, my yearly list. Um, so um, I thought that was fun and cute and an added texture. And uh, so now what we're going to do is start plugging in some of this information, okay? But before I do that, I need to stamp stamp in some of the important uh areas like name of remitter I have that at the top so what I'm going to do is stamp that and I'm going to put this at the top here okay so that's fun block my little stamp off put that back Okay, and the other thing is um, the date, and so I do have a date stamp, and that was actually from the other stamp kit, so let me get my small acrylic block for that and line that up. Yep. And so my date, uh, I'm going to put right here, okay? Let's put right here. Okay. And let's see, that's cute. And then I'm gonna put in my notes stamp right here, down here, because this is where you can have some extra notes about the bird that you saw and anything else that you want to share. And I have another bird that I'm gonna share with you that I, um, that I just recently saw, and it was actually a rare bird uh, in this area. So I thought, also, so I thought that I would share that with you, and maybe, 
Maybe you all will get interested in um, birding too. I call myself a lackadaisical birder because I, I, it's so hot out there. I can't do but so much, you know what I mean? But like my husband, he's gotten really serious about it and he's good at knowing what they sound like and the calls and their songs and things like that. So if you know that kind of thing, then you can actually, it helps you find them. It helps you find them. And um, no, you know, you can look for one. You know, there's, there's a certain type of bird like that in the woods right there. You can hear them. So um, the other thing that I wanted to do, there's a specimen note right here where you can, are going to put what kind of bird you saw. And I actually saw that on this particular little stamp in this kit. And so I just wanted the specimen words only. And so how I did that, let's see, I put it on my, put it on my, my little acrylic block and I was probably having to put my blocker paper under it. And on, on my other one, I kind of did it, I kind of did it, um, yeah, I do. I need to put it under my sewn line because that's where I'm going to put my, my fun little lace tab. So let me just follow along with what I've done before so I don't mess up. Don't get any bright ideas now, Laura. Because it took me a while to think through this. And let me stand up for this also because I don't want to get my head in the way of the camera. But I do want to make sure I get this lined up pretty good. And all I'm really wanting is the word, um, the specimen. So, we'll do this. And that is perfect, perfect, okay? So I didn't stamp that whole stamp there, just the specimen, because we wanna know what bird it is, all right? The other one that I did, um, and I may, a uh, destination, let's do destination, because that was, um, I didn't have a location stamp, so I thought, well, destination works because that was the destination I went to to see this bird. So let me ink that. And I'm going to put it now I centered the other one, I kind of centered it. I could bring this one over. Uh, let's do that. Just do a little different. Okay, destination. That's good. Okay, so let me, before I do any more stamping, let me pull over some of my, um, what I printed out for my words. Now, um, instead of using copy dye paper for this, because I do want my paper to blend in, um, what I did is I printed, printed out what my birds were and the information that I had about those birds, and I went on and printed out a regular copy paper. And so then I used my um, Distress Ink and colored uh, stained it and shaded it and it was actually perfect you know colors for it so my other bird that I had um, was my uh, rosette spoonbill we actually saw one and we saw it a couple of days ago on June 23rd of this year it was in High Point a city right next to, to uh, my city and so I didn't have to drive far to see him. There, I looked up online and there he is one, the rosette spoonbill is one of six species in the world of a spoonbill species. And that one is, he's, he is in the United States. And the rosette spoonbill is the one that we have in the United States. Um, the interesting thing about him though is he is it is rare for him to be in this area um he's not normally he's more like east uh, maybe you know the shoreline and everything we're kind of in the middle of the state and uh, my understanding is there has only been three sightings of the rosette spoonbill in guilford county that's the county i live in uh, of north carolina 
there's only been three sightings total. So we got to go see him, and I'll share a little more information about him uh, as I create my little field note here. Um, I did, uh, while I have this, I'm just gonna go on and cut this out. This is name of remitter, and so what I did is I, sh I typed this out and shaded it. I had Laura, the paper sole, but it was too long. It didn't um, fit in my little, my little um, field there that I have, my little uh, form that I have created. And so I put the paper sole right there. So let's go ahead and do that. Now, um, you could also ink these extra, um, if you want, around the edges, just real quick. And then we're just gonna put a little bit of glue. This, these were a lot of, this was a lot of fun. I have to say, this was fun to create. Um, and especially something that had some meaning to me because it's really fun when you see a bird that you know, I'm not normally seeing birds like this. We see cardinals and we see, you know, our black cat, cat chickadees, or well, we see chickadees as Carolina chickadees. We see, um, you know, your bluebirds, your robins and whatnot and everything. So it's interesting to find the other birds out there. They're out there. They see you, but you don't see them unless you go looking for them. <laughs> so, um, okay. I believe these are going to fit. So what I'm gonna do before I start cutting them up, I'm going to go ahead and just put, I'm gonna just stain the whole little printout that I had, okay, with my Distress Ink. And I'm just gonna shade it all up. And you could print this out on coffee dye paper if you wanted to, so that you already have the vintage look to your paper and it will blend in with your coffee dye paper, but I, um, like I say, didn't know when I was dyeing my coffee dye paper that I was going to create this, and so I just thought, well, this will work, and I was really tickled with how it did turn out, okay? And then um, I think this is the right one. I had several printouts and everything, and, um, I was trying to get my sizing right for my little field label forms that I was creating, so. Almost there. So for my one that we're working on, I've got the specimen is the rosette spoonbill. Let me just cut some of these out now that I've shaded them up. And I may need to add a little more ink, but we will see. So let me just cut these down. Let's see, the first one is the, the name of my species, and that is my rosette spoonbill. But I have, by doing this, I have seen some birds that I have would never have seen, you know, would never have even known they were out there. And it gets, it gets you out. It's been a good thing to do, especially, it's good to do anyway, and just get out in nature and everything. And it's really exciting to come across a bird that you've never seen. You, you know, I know you might not think that it would be, but it really is, because you're like, oh wow, you know, that's really neat. So I've got my rosette uh, spoonbill, and I wanted to see how that takes up a good amount. The other aspect that I have here is his banding code and so the banding code would be the RO and then the SP for Rosette Spoonbill. Uh, that's how they will know what what bird that is and what you know what they put on there like when they band it and everything. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut that out. So let me get that cut. So 
So this kind of crafting is good to have when you're doing this kind of crafting and the little details like this. Um, you you kind of just get lost in it and it's, it's, the, it's a good kind of crafting. Not the crafting where you're just on a mission, but the crafting that's just, oh my gosh, this is just cute, fun, creative, and that kind of thing. So I'm gonna want this on there, and then I'm also going to want, um, oh boy, where's my, oh, here it is, Rosette Spoon Beal. So let me see, uh, I could put that on first, Rosette Spoon Beal. I could put his little co. so I'm gonna figure out, actually, I may just go ahead and put that up there. Um, so let me ink that. Not trying to make this hard. Just not trying to overthink it. Just getting all my information where it needs to go. Bottle keeps wanting to fall over. So R S R O S P Rosette Spoonbill. And he was so cute and pretty. He was well I'll tell you more about him in just a little bit. So now let's get his name on there. And then we'll finish off with our other little elements that we have for this. So my Rosette Spoonbill. Get that even okay so that's his information there and what I did actually you know what let me pull this up because what I did do on the other one is I went on and stamped this comes up a little bit higher well I don't want his name getting lost so I might have to come down a little lower anyway so I'll just wait on that um, so Destination, that was High Point. Let me put these little notes in. Let me add a little more shading. And let's cut these out. So this is my date that I saw him. And you always want to have that. You'll have to let me know if I have any uh, birders out there, people that love to like go and find fun, unique little birds. Um, okay, so there's my date stamp and here's my date. So you could always hand write this in and that's probably what they do on field notes. You know, you're out in the field and you're writing this stuff in. But I wanted it to be neat looking for my journals, of course. So I typed them out. So the destination is High Point, North Carolina. So that's where he was. And he was at some little mud flats, I think, that he had flown in. And let me ink these edges. that on High Point North Carolina he flew in to High Point North Carolina so that was the destination actually the location but the destination to um, where we needed to go to take a peek at him and what they'll do is they have rare bird alerts where you can get on these apps and they will alert people and let them know hey there's a there's a rare bird out here it's been spotted and sighted and um, so it's, it's kind of fun y'all it really is fun and so then you're like oh my adventure got to go and find it but this was something that you know was really fun to do during COVID because it got us outside and you're kind of out and away from people and everything so you have to worry about that and um, and it just got you outdoors so and there's a really cute movie. I can't remember, y'all. What is it called? Birder, uh, Bird of, Birder of the Year. I can't remember. Uh, I can't remember what it's called, but it has 
it has it's really good rare for this area and I just put a note there I wanted to just indicate that that rosette um, spoon bill was very rare to find in this area and then um, the other thing let's see now where are my notes about him I had notes let's see if these are This will fit. I hope it will fit. That off. And okay. Let's put this aside. Okay, so now let me um ink this a little bit more because I didn't get it all and I think this is going to fit down here on my notes so let's do this oops it's a little large okay I'll move it over here that's perfect okay so we're going to ink the edge of this and I will tell you what this says because I know you just can't wait to hear more about my little rosette spoon bill that I saw I know you're so excited he was so cute. Okay, so let me get the glue on that. Okay. All right, you can see how my little field notes are coming alive here. There we are. Okay. Um, now, I have that he was a juvenile and this is actually a little large. I wonder if I had another one that I'll get for county. I wonder, did I type out another one to make that smaller? Hold on, let me check. I don't think I did. Hmm. So, I had a little more notes here that I wanted to share about him. And probably what I could do is see if, see if I can cut it down a little more and make more space. Thought that was good. Let's see about this. All right, that's gonna fit. And let's see about these next ones here. Do not. These are my little details. These details are important. And I'm actually, I think what I'm gonna do, let's see, he's a juvenile and he had feathers on his head. I knew that he was a juvenile because he had feathers on his head. Adults do not have feathers on their head. So let me see if I can shorten this a little bit because I'm running out of space for my fun stamping. And I, and I definitely wanna do that. So let me go ahead and um, what I'm gonna do I am going to put that he's a juvenile. He was young. That we saw. And that he had feathers on his head. So I might could just, juvenile had feathers on his head. Uh, I could maybe... I hate to leave these little facts out. If I did it over here on his head, could put juvenile up there and then say, had feathers on his head. And um, I also put species only cited three times in Guil uh, Guilford County, but I think I'm gonna leave that off because um, I've already told you he's a rare bird. And if that's the case, if I do this like that, 
then I'll have enough room for my little other picture. So I know I'm switching it up a bit, but I, I realize I didn't realize now that I didn't I should have made my writing a little bit smaller and I thought I had already tested that out. So forgive me for that. But hey, that kind of thing happens in crafting. That is how it is. And we just keep rolling along and making it happen. Creating our little field notes journal card. It's getting fun. I could put juvenile up there though. I think I will. I think I will. There's nothing wrong with that because um, that way you you know right off the bat that the one I saw was a juvenile. He was young. Whoop. So we'll do that right there. And I'm gonna put had feathers on his head, on his head, and I'm gonna put my little bird stamp here. So that'll be that'll be pretty there. So we're just gonna let me put my bird stamp on first. So that I don't forget to definitely have some space for that. Put him, put him kind of down a little bit. There we go, he's sitting there. Okay, had feathers on his head. Let's put that in there. That way you'll know a little bit about why he was a juvenile. Or we knew that he was, that's what my husband said. Because adults, I think the adults are bald. They are bald. So, I thought that was interesting. That doesn't sound like that would be very good because the sun, you would think, would hurt their little tender skin on their head. Feathers on his head. Okay, so I have that in there. The other fun little stamp I had was number 4899. Now, I don't know the importance of that, but I know that somebody out in the field would. And I just felt like it's a number that needed to be put on these um, field notes. Don't you think? I'm sure that's important. All those important numbers and documentation that they do in the field. So... I'm gonna put that right, kind of out of catty corner to make it interesting. That. <laughs> gonna do that, and then what else can I do? Now I did have um, this figure, which I had actually put right there, but since I have a little room over here, I might put it there. And I just feel like all of these uh, little stampings and stuff, are going to just add to my little field notes. The types of things you would find in field notes. Yeah. So even though this is slightly different, it's still coming together and having that fun numbers and, and uh, documentation-like look to it. How about filed? Because somebody's got to file this information away once we've do our little field note. And let's see where I, I could put that. Um, put it over here, filed. Mm, yeah, let me put him over here, filed. So I'll just try to do it neat. Yep. That looks important. All right. See all the fun with each little thing that you add. This little, this little stamp kit is adorable. I just love it, just love it. So now we have another field note card here and that we are going to do some embellishing on. And I have all my information, right? I've got the who, I'm the one that saw it on the date, not where the location was, that it's rare. Um, it's banding code, so that's how they know what bird you're talking about. You can say uh, a row SP, R-O-S-P, and people will know that that's a rosette spoonbill. The juven that is a juvenile young one had feathers on his head. That's how we knew. And some fun little field note information. Down here, I was saying, this is the notes that I made about seeing this sweet little thing. He was taking an afternoon nap standing on one leg. So he had his little neck turned around and he was resting his head on his back. 
and um, he looked up and around a few times and we got a really good look at his little spoon bill. And a great blue heron flew in and stood right behind him. And this guy was big compared to this little fella. And he stood right behind him for a few minutes. And it didn't bother him. He just looked He looked, and then he just put his head back down. And he just went back to sleep. So those are my little fun notes there. So let's go ahead and see about decorating it the rest of the way. Um, let's get our little... Um, Whoops. Now I've had it this whole time and now I don't see my lace. Where's my lace? Where's my lace? Hmm. Yes, my desk is a mess and everything, but my lace should still be here and I have been looking at it the whole time and now it's gone. Okay, so I'm not, we're, we're good, we're good. Um, I have another little piece right here. Always have a bag, oh, it's right in front of me. Okay, <laughs> so let's see, here we go. We're gonna put our lace on, and all I did, I'm gonna put my little lace tab on, and all I did was I put glue, um, I'm gonna fold it this way. So I'm going to put glue on this edge here. And I hope it's not getting too dark for you to see just a little bit of glue or a string of glue right on that edge. And I'm just gonna put my little lace tab here, flip it over, do the same thing on the back. And that will also keep it from fraying because I had cut that. So then we're gonna fold this over course I did add some bling to it so the bling is going to keep it from the bling will keep it from uh, unraveling also and I just have these little bling it's green and I got that from Michaels so what I'm gonna do it has I trimmed it out as close as I could to the little blingy bits and then I'm going to just add it's got adhesive on it but I'm going to add a little bead of glue here at the base so that it does not come off. Okay, so we're just gonna do that also to secure that. And um, then I'm just going to line that up here. This, like I say, this has got to be the fanciest little field note card ever. Field note form card journal card, what have you ever. Okay, so I have another little, I have another little bling strip here that I'm gonna peel off. So let's do that. And that time I peeled my whole little adhesive off, but that's okay, because I'm gluing it on anyway. Just a little bit, not much. And I'm just putting that at the base of that pretty little lace tab. So you have some bling on the front and the back and it just looks so pretty. Okay. And then um, the other thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna get my little, what do you call this? memory keepers this is a crop of dial and I am going to punch let me punch the right hole I'm going to punch a hole in this corner here and put me a little um, eyelid in and then here's my eyelet and then Ah, you're kidding me. Okay, I've got another one right here. Eyelet overboard for the love of Pete. Did you see that? So silly. Okay. All right, so let me get the right, well, let me get the right side here. Yeah, so I'm gonna just, 
don't know why this is so hard. This is like to me the hardest part when I'm trying to get this over it because it wants to push it out. Okay, so now here we go. There we go. All right, so now I have my little, my little eyelid in there and I'm going to use my smaller little punches, my little hole punch for this tag because I don't need a very large hole. And I'm just gonna punch a little hole there, put that up. And then I've got my trim. Like I say, I do sell this a lot. I sell all kinds of trim and ribbons and everything in my Etsy shop, so um, take a peek if you would like. I've got lots of journaling supplies. Um, so what I'm gonna do is line this up. Let's see if I can get that. I might have done it like this and just put this through to make it easier. So just pull a little through like that and then I'm just going to, I'm gonna snip this and hope I can thread this through my little tag here without much trouble. That was good. That was nice and uneventful. That's what you like sometimes. I usually have all kinds of the big events happening, crazy stuff when the camera's on. And then we're just gonna tie this on, really, is all I did. And, um, I can tie it again and to secure it like that. And then I have a little bit of my little fibers and trims to decorate that. This moves out of the way so you can finish looking at all the important documentation on your field note journal card. And then we're going to flip it over. So we had some fun elements on the back. So I, you can see my sewing back there, and uh, I have my little uh, quote that I sewed around, so we're going to glue that on. Before I do that, I just, um, I did the field label here, which is this part of this stamp, and I wanted the whole stamp on it. So what I'm going to do is um, keep losing things. Oh, it gets under my, all the layers. I've got to clean this desk off. It's getting serious um, at this point, seriously crazy. So I'm going to ink my stamp. I just thought that whole image was really pretty on the back of this uh, journal card. And so we're just gonna do that here in the corner. pretty. Blot that off. Got a lot of cleaning up to do, don't I? This place is a mess, especially when you're using like 11 stamps just to make one journal card. Actually, yeah, 11 stamps. <laughs> so now I'm going to glue this my little pocket on. So I'm going to make a pocket out of it. So I'm gluing it on three sides and that will hold some of my fun little ephemera that I have from the Beautiful Birds kit from Artie Mays. Okay, so I'm going to put him right here, like that, and give that a chance to dry. The other thing that I did on my journal card is I did a little bit of um, stenciling, just to add a little bit of color. Okay, and one of my favorite colors, and of course it works with the kit. I always try to take that into consideration. Um, is my um, evergreen bow. And so, let me just, I did the front and the back. So, let me get a little of this on. And I'm not gonna do a lot, just a little, just a little in some of the little 
areas where there was you know maybe not as much stamping and kind of brings it all together how pretty might even do a little up here at the field note and then on the back we'll do the same just kind of do a little shading there Y'all know I like stenciling. I do. So that just looks like, let's, see, let's do a little up here. That. And yeah, maybe a teeny bit down here. So just little touches of color there uh, to add a little extra layer of interest to my journal card. And now I have my little pocket here, and I've got my cute little, um, I'm gonna close this again because the light's coming in. Hope you can still see. Yeah, uh, my cute little ephemera pieces um, from Artie Mays' Beautiful Birds Kit, and I just thought that would be really cute there. And these are little journaling spots, and I know I love little small journaling spots. It just add so much to the things that we create so there you have it y'all there you have it i have my uh two little journaling clear my deck here a little bit i've got my um two little field field uh label tags um journal cards basically you could even journal on the back of that I've got information about the birds that I have actually seen as a birder myself. Um, and then I thought my postcards turned out really cute. So I've got my vintage postcards as well. Okay. Um, and I just love how these turned out. I really, really do. It was a lot of fun just to play, and I hope you like these as well. And, you know, for my journal where I was planning on putting this, um, was in this pocket. So I was going to tuck this in here like that and I thought that that would be a cute little place for some handmade vintage journaling cards. Well, I really appreciate you hanging in there with me and I hope you had fun just playing around, uh, seeing how you can play around, get your stamps out and, and get creative. Okay, everyone? And we'll be seeing you in the next um, installment the next part uh, of my starting a journal, a new journal series. Okay, take care everyone. Bye.